What's up, YouTube? Uh, yeah, I finally got a, uh, a shirt on or something other than a beater, I guess. It's a little chilly out here in the morning, so. Yeah, you know, I'll be, I'll be up dumb early, because the way I eat, I'll be up at like 3.34 most mornings. So, like, you know, right now I'm just solar gazing. And uh, I can do it from my room, actually. I got a good angle, or a good angel, I should say. Um, you know, um, with the solar gazing, it's, uh, you know, really just you re recharging, you know, when, you know, and you manipulate the photons, you know, basically when you see, when you're looking, if you're driving down the highway on a hot day and you see in the distance, the ripples from the, um, the heat, that's basically you seeing creation happen. It's just light at different densities. That's light creating, uh, like I said, you know, light and sound. Are like the least dense manifestations of light. Then you got gas. You see the waves and all that, and and well, and, and then water, because then you know from from light to sound it goes gas, water, plants, insects, mammals, humans, you know, so on and so forth. So, you know, just denser manifestations of light. Nothing really being solid though. Like I said, it's all. I guess you could say a semi-solid, but it's all a manifestation of light. So, when you look when you're solar gazing, you know the best times would be probably any time between 7 a.m. It depends on where you're at. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You know, it might be different for you, but in most cases for me, where I'm at, it's usually 7 to 11 a.m. Those are usually the best times to solar gaze. And, um, and at the end of the day, it just really depends on you know what, what time of year it is, where you're at, and stuff. Like I'm saying, because it's about the angle or the angel. I should say, because you know, around 30 degree, the 30 degree angle, or 120 degree angle, that's best, or anything in that, you know, vicinity. Looking straight up is the worst. That's a bad angle or a bad angel, I should say. And again, like I was, you know, referencing the Akashic records, when your body is at a certain density, when you are eating properly and you, you're at a lower density than you should be, the, the pitch of the body is different. You know, you know, because you're, you're everything. You know, it's a universe. It's one verse. Everything is in, is in motion and is in a and and on a frequency, on a tune. So your pitch will change with the density when you, when you change your density of your body. So the less dense you are, the pitch will be higher, and you'll be able to receive more from a good angle or a good angel. You'll be able to pick up more because, like I said, when you look out, you look in, and the, you know the sun. Is basically like looking into your your own pineal gland or pineal organ, I should say, because organs create, glands just secrete, and the pineal organ creates. So when you um when you're looking at the sun, it's just like looking at the the pineal or the third eye, which really should be called the first eye, because that's what you're seeing with. That's why you can close your eyes and still see. That's why if you're blind, you'll still be able to have dreams, you know, and all senses get sent to that optic nerve whether you have eyeballs or not so you know it it yeah <laughs> you see this is the first eye it's not the third eye so anyway um you um basically you know when you're looking into that when you solar gaze it, it's like you know you're looking at the outer light when you go to sleep you turn on the inner light so you know when you're solar gazing you're you know you can get you can receive knowledge from the universe. It's called Akashic Records to some, but it's really just like you know. You kind of just you know finding it from you because it all it all comes from you. Everything is you know from you because you are an extension of the source of creation. You know you are a creator. So, with that said, you know it's all about a good angel or a bad angel or angle, and you know when when these people talk about. Um, getting information from angles or angels that's what that's what it really is and that's why it's all about you know the light and all that you know yeah people just don't understand what they're reading when they read these books but you know uh, you know hopefully this will help clear some things up so you know um, from that you know I want you know the thing I want to talk about would be like uh, you know watch what you talk about to people you know, or, you know, just control your own emotions, you know, respect them, but control them, and watch what you're saying to other people, because 
frankly, if you can get, all right, you get, like I said, fear and anxiety are very strong emotions. So if you, you know, if you fear monger, you put that in, if you know, if you get, you get trying to give somebody information and they're not ready for it, you can create those emotions. And like I said, those are very strong. So when that get, when that gets given off, other things in this universe and in this space um, can um, pick up, they pick up on that. So basically, and what I'm saying, and what I'm saying here is that once something pick up, picks up on that, it, you know, in all likelihood, it'd be a parasite. Um, you know, they can communicate that to other parasites. You know, not to mention, two people, you know, most of the people watching this probably have parasites. And, you know, if two people are talking and they both have a parasite, you know, the parasite's using you as a vessel to hear and see and, you know, use all your senses too. So if you're talking about something, you know, it overhears, it knows. So, you know, these are very intelligent things. They're very ancient. They're not stupid. They've been around. So it's, you know, that's why this is why it's, it's difficult to you know uproot them once people have made that manifest in themselves, because they open themselves up for it at some point in time, you know. And and, and if you get emotion, if you have you don't you know if you don't control your emotions and you get depressed or whatever the case may be, you know stressed out, your immunity goes down. So yes, it's all one, you know, emotional, physical, all that. It's all one. It's all energy. So. You know, when, you know, you gotta watch what you're saying because the parasites communicate to each other, and watch what you give off, because the parasites, you know, you know, you basically make that manifest. If you're saying, "Oh my God, I don't want to leave," and get pulled over, you're giving that energy off all the way until you get in the car. And then, yeah, most cops have parasites. Most cops have worms, to be real. But yeah, and then that's the thing too, worm holes and all that. It's where you get it from, you know, because you like like how a parasite can look through you, you can look through it. And um, since you're a universe or are the universe, a wormhole, the worms in you or, you know, you get the gist. Or you should be able to get the gist if you understand that everything is just a vessel of light. So, um, you know, that's how you can make things manifest on this density. And people don't understand that everything starts with a thought. Whether it is, you know, you want a car, you know, and you, and you do whatever you have to do to get that car and then you make it physically manifest and it took a month or whatever, how long. You still started from the consciousness, so you know you gotta understand that you can make things manifest on all different levels of densities from with uh, with the consciousness. It's the consciousness doing it. So you know, watch what you you know, watch what you you're creating as a creator. Watch what you think about. Watch what you give off. Watch what you communicate to and what you're saying to them. You know, it, you know, you, you, not everybody's ready, and they'll let you know if they're ready or not. So um, yeah. You know, get your solar gazing on. Get a good angel.